Namaste everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Candice and today I have a more intermediate class which is great for mornings. You can also do it in the afternoon but definitely not before bed. <laughs> it's not really the most relaxing flow. It's quite a powerful morning class which is really great for waking up the body. There will be some inversions, um, particularly a little play with pincher if you would like to. Or you can take a normal headstand or you can just stay in dolphin, make the make the flow your own. Uh, make sure that if you are joining me today that you understand yoga, that you know how to modify and that you know how to just do the poses that work for you. You can also change things up a little bit and, and really make the flow your own. So you can always change a pose for something completely different. If that's where your body's taking you, follow it and listen to it. You can use this class just as a base and turn it into something that feels really good for how you are in this moment. Um, there's no need for any props, but as it's your class today, you're welcome to use some if you would like to. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the class. Also leave me a thumbs up guys and a comment, those are really helpful. And if you would like to, you can also leave me a thank you donation by clicking the heart button, which I think says thanks on it. Um, okay, so, well, without saying much more, <laughs> we're gonna begin in a standing position today. Okay, everybody, let's start at the top of the mat and just start to feel through the body. So start to just move your hips, roll your wrists, feel it out, maybe step wide and just move your hips side to side. There's no right or wrong here, just feel through the body before we end up flowing properly. Maybe take some breaths up into your mountain. Taking a minute to come into the body. Keep the breath nice and deep. All right, let's take some big breaths up into mountain and fold. Bend the knees as much as you need. Rolling back to mountain, inhale. Continue this flowing just all the way down and then all the way up. Follow the breath. Maybe as you fold, Bend and straighten through each leg. Now take your hands to the sides of your body, having the fingers face up into your armpits and your elbows out to the sides, drop your shoulders down. Stand chair, close your eyes. Just stretching out through the hands. Perhaps just do the neck as well. So rotate your neck from shoulder to shoulder. Continue this feeling through the neck. Release the hands, just rotate them, maybe move the hips. Inhale up. As you bring your hands to your side, lift your left leg towards your chest. Keep it lifted. Open the knee to the side, hold it to the side. 
back to center. Straighten the leg if possible. And warrior three. So bring your leg out back behind you, body parallel to the ground. Tap that knee to the back of your calf. Hold it. Find your balance. Step that foot out to the side and come on down, just crossing your right leg on top of your left. I'll turn to face you so that your right foot is nice and open into a figure four. Perhaps place your right arm onto your knee and take a grip of your left foot. So you're hitting two birds with one stone here. You're opening up through the right hip and you're stretching the left hamstring. Just rest and breathe here for a moment. Keep the foot of your bent leg nice and engaged so the foot should be facing forwards. From here, I'm going to go back to my first position, plant that left foot back onto, sorry, the right foot back onto the ground, using your hand, come all the way back, bring your knee to the back of your calf and hold. Step back into a high lunge. Open your high lunge out to the side. Look to the right. So we're in a twisted high lunge. You can take this right arm to the leg. Left arm up and over your ear, stretching through that right shoulder in a twist and a back bend. Back into your normal high lunge, open up to warrior two. Come on over to this left leg into your, into your side lunge. Keep your hips lifted, keep your legs strong, and then take it back to the right. So you're gonna find a little movement here, going from right to left, in your side lunges. One more over to the right. Turn to face the top of the mat in a runner's lunge. Stretching out through that psoas muscle on the left side. Come on down, low lunge. Maybe take a side body stretch over to the right. Opening through the front leg, so straight in the front leg. We're going to stretch through the hamstring, half Hanumanasana. Come on forward, runner's lunge, step to plank, take a chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. First dog of the day, let's hold it for some nice deep breaths.
Look forward, jump or step to the top of the mat, half lift. Look forward, fold. Into your mountain. Hands to your side body. Let's lift up through the right knee, lift it to your chest. Hold. Open the knee to the side and hold. Back to center. Extend the leg if you can. And then make your way into warrior three. Extend the leg out behind you, body parallel to the floor. Okay, take the knee to the back of the calf. Hold that for a moment. Plant your hands and step that left, that right leg out to the side, coming down to your bum. Cross your left ankle on top of your leg. Open out through the hip so you're in a figure four. You can grab for those right toes and maybe use your left elbow to pry that <laughs> left knee a little bit more open. Breathe deep. Lean forward, keep your spine nice and straight. Okay, plant this left foot onto the ground. Using your hands, bring yourself back into this position where your knee was at the back of your calf. Lift up and hold. Step back, high lunge. Open up through your high lunge into a twist. So look to the left. You can just keep your arms here or take your left arm to that right leg and lift the right arm up and over your ear. Okay, open up warrior two. Let's take it all the way across to the right knee. And now Skandasana side lunge. Keep the hips raised and then take it over to the left. Continue this just left to right. See if you can get a little lower and use the strength of your legs to push you back up to the other side. Once you're back over to your left, make your way into a runner's lunge, face forwards. Sink your right hip and feel through that psoas stretch. Slowly take the knee to the ground, low lunge. You can stay here in a low lunge or you can take a side body stretch, lift that right arm up and over your ear. Okay, straighten through the front leg. Taking half split pose, half Hanumanasana, stretching through that, through that hamstring.
come on forwards, let's step back into plank. Hold your plank for a minute and then take a vinyasa. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Holding our down dog for some nice deep breaths. From your down dog, let's take it down into dolphin. Make sure your arms are shoulder distance. Holding your dolphin. If it's in your practice, you could take it up into a pincher. Only if it's in your practice. And then back into a dolphin. From your dolphin, step your feet wide. Bring your knees to touch. Sit back into hero's pose, back between your heels. Let's take Gomukhasana arms. Cow face arms, so we're going to try and interlace the hands behind your shoulder blades. Left hand up and behind the back. Right arm up and over the ear. Swap hands, opposite hand on top, in your cow face arms. Okay, release your arms. Let's make our way back into our dolphin pose. Hips all the way up to the sky. And now open your knees out wide. If you're in pincher, come on down. Open your knees out wide into frog pose. Stretching through those hips. You can stay up on your forearms or you can come on down and rest your chest on the ground and open up through the arms. Okay, push yourself back up. We're going to make our way to a downward facing dog. From down dog, jump through your hands, come into a seat and take it into a boat pose. You can take the full expression of boat 
or take the beginner's version with your hands holding behind the knees. Lower your boat, hover off the ground just for a moment and lift back up if possible. Now roll all the way to your spine and take a plow. From plow, make your way back down to the spine and let's take a bridge. Lift up, squeeze your glutes. Knees stay in line with the hips. Slowly lower down. Let's take a twist to whichever side you want to first. You can take your legs in a full eagle expression with your legs crossed twice or you can just cross it once and draw your knee over to the side. Gaze in the opposite direction. Okay, make your way back to the center. Uncross your legs and let's take our twist to the opposite side.
Okay, back to center. Uncross your legs. Just hug your knees to your chest for a moment. Maybe find a rock from side to side. Take it into happy baby. Extend the legs, give your hamstrings a little stretch out. Open the legs into a straddle, stretch them out again. Release the legs and the arms. Let's take it into a Shavasana. If you would rather do a seated meditation for the morning, you can do that. Let's have total silence together. Just be totally present in this moment. Let go of thought. Okay, just start to wiggle your fingertips and your wrists and ankles. If you want to stay longer, you can. Inhale your arms up and over your head and take a stretch. Move onto your side body. Take a moment here. And make your way into a seat with your eyes still closed. Come into a comfortable seat, still in meditation. Just take a moment here. Go slow.
when you're ready, inhale your hands to the sky. Allow your face to follow. Draw your hands down into your heart center bell. Take a moment to say one word or perhaps a sentence, an affirmation that you can take with you throughout your day. You can open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. It was such a pleasure to have you again. Let me know in the comments how you found this class today. And if you want any, if you have any requests, do let me know. There is also a heart button if you would like to leave me a donation, which is always very wonderful if you do that. Um, no worries if not. And always feel free to share and like as well. Until the next class, have a wonderful week. Namaste.